all the wood miser people say you can't put a battery there that's the space you need to get the fletch off of that log well look what came in they finally got them in at harbor freight again well we're getting wood in the drying rack you wouldn't believe how much you can get in there for a hobby saw as long as I got logs we'll stay busy this is a 26 across the base the saw will only do a 20 inch well I'll show you the upgrades I've got here as you can see here it's off away from the handle that way when I just grab it to move it I'm not turning it on there's a little switch right here and this is a tent uh, pole that blew all the parts so I'm using pieces off of it as you can see I cut past on both sides so it fit on the pipe we got our momentary switch right there can you hear it run the pump yes I did put a fuse in we've got a battery to run it and it runs up to the windshield washer motor and because it puts out so much water I did put in a diverter so it doesn't give the blade quite as much water so basically it'll fill up that tube and then drain out slowly so I only have to hit this once in a while but looks like that's going to work great they've been out of these straps forever they are 16 foot guess what my opening happens to be 16 foot so I've got two straps I don't know if you can see that lower one makes me feel better getting near this entrance and they do ratchet so that's nice we'll go ahead and open up this log here battery tray I didn't realize that's where the log needs to be maybe I'll put it up there that might work well F U C K tell her not everything went to plan because uh, all the wood miser people say you can't put a battery there that's the space you need to get the fletch off of that log they were right but I have it all hooked back up I've got the battery over here out of the way and this cable is out of the way of the locking for the lift it's out of the way to set the blade it does up down with uh, no problem so we'll work with that upgrade again well now that I have everything reset I'll go ahead and take one more inch off of here I should have uh, plenty of room with the bearing there we'll see if we can make them wood visor guys happy
Hold on, little bugger, hold on. This is gonna need uh, both live edges cut off. So we'll put it in the pile right there. And bring it back on the saw. Well, we've got a few of them to do. Just like that. Well, we got this rolled over. We got to get it down to 20 inch, so we'll take one more face off of this. This will be a nice board here. I'll resaw it. And then we can turn this into a cant. I like it. Well, I've got my cant as you can see that's 12 inches tall and we are 15 inches wide and 12 feet long so we're gonna go ahead and roll this so we get 12 inch boards well this is how the farmers do it go ahead and put a piece in there I want this to be up I'd have to roll it three times to get that up Unless I go backwards, so let's try that. There we go, we got our end up. Just gotta scoot it in. Yeah, just trying to get the endorsement from Wood Miser that what I'm doing is all right. But we have our cant we milled up yesterday. We've got boards on the deck there that's got to come back on the mill as well. And this is one foot, 12 inches by 13 inches. So if I cut this at one inch boards, I should get 13 of them out of it. That's one thing you need to know what kind of lumber you're going to need because this is cedar, it'll make great siding. So let's go ahead and mill this up into one inch. Just like that, you can stack them up. You gotta stay out of the throat of that, so how, depending how wide your wood is, you can only do so many. So I'll go ahead and throw these up on the rack. I know what your main concern is. How much sawdust do you get out of one log? Well, let's take a quick look here. I 
go ahead and time warp this, all right? Well, I'd say that's about two bushelfuls of uh, sawdust out of that one log. That's all cedar, but it's got to go down the hatch. cleaned up.